2015 was a super exciting year for a lot of scientists studying black holes. This was the first year we finally confirmed that black holes do collide. With all of this confirmed when the scientists detected gravitational waves that could only have been created by two massive objects, very likely colliding millions of years ago, millions of light years away from us. With this particular detection being known as GW150914. And since then the scientists have detected quite a lot of these gravitational waves, with the majority being caused by various types of black holes that we usually refer to as stellar mass black holes, simply because they are very likely formed from various stars exploding in the past, with some of the most massive ones visible in this image, with the vast majority being approximately 40 solar masses. But today we're going to be talking about something a little bit more mysterious, something that the scientists originally discovered early in the January of 2022, with the most recent paper from just a few weeks ago confirming that something exciting is indeed happening in this particular galaxy. And here we're talking about a type of a collision we've never seen before, and the one that the scientists have been hoping to see for a very long time. A collision between two supermassive black holes. Black holes we usually find in the centers of various galaxies. And specifically, two really really massive black holes, millions of solar masses, which will very likely produce ridiculously powerful gravitational waves. But something that unfortunately right now, we're unable to detect with instruments such as LIGO that detects smaller black holes. And that's of course because of their design. By design, LIGO that you see right here is only able to detect certain frequencies. Frequencies produced by smaller collisions, smaller black holes, or objects like neutron stars, not supermassive black holes, which will usually produce much, much longer wavelengths. So, hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about this particular detection, or what exactly the science discovered in this case, but more excitingly, about the fact that there is a very high chance we might be able to see this within the next three years. So not in some distant future, but this is literally something that's about to occur. And all of this starts with a paper that you see right here, with a very intriguing title, TikTok, the imminent merger of supermassive black hole binary. And in this study, the scientists were investigating the galaxy that you see right here. It's known as J1430 plus 2303, and it's what's known as a Cipher 1 galaxy. A type of a galaxy such as M77 right here, that generally has extremely active core on the inside and very likely has an active galactic nucleus. And specifically, C41 galaxies are also extremely bright in the ultraviolet and X-rays, as well as producing a lot of optical light. In other words, they're usually defined by extremely bright and active centers, with very massive black holes in the center producing pretty much all of this. But this particular galaxy has never really been studied much before, mostly because, well, first of all, it's kind of far away. This is nearly 1.1 billion light years away from us, with the redshift of 0.08. And second of all, because there are a lot of other exciting galaxies out there. However, when studying this elliptical galaxy, the scientists discovered an unusual pattern. The X-ray and UV light, along with the optical light, was shifting in magnitude with a very specific amplitude with the period in this case not actually being constant, but instead reducing in time. With some of the earlier assumptions sort of looking like this. This implied that something was orbiting around the center of this galaxy, and this also implied that whatever was orbiting here was actually decreasing in period, potentially resulting in a collision eventually. And in this case, in this first paper, their initial calculations suggested that it might actually happen before the end of 2022, this year when I'm making this video. And so this was actually the first detection of rapid decaying periods ever seen in any galaxy with potentially supermassive black holes in the middle. And in this case, the periods decayed from approximately one year to one month in just three year time. And if these were black holes, they were now orbiting around one another, only taking about one month to complete a single orbit. Now, as I mentioned before, unfortunately LIGO is unable to verify this because in this case, the wavelength is one month long. And on top of this, these observations could have been created by something else. Maybe it was some kind of an oscillation within the accretion disk, or something else causing some kind of a wobble that seems to occur every month. And so to try to confirm this, another team of scientists wanted to analyze this more using some other data. With this new study right here, using a lot of other X-ray observatories and other observations from this region. With the focus being identifying high energy signatures that should only be visible if these were two supermassive black holes on the collision course. And the discoveries from this recent paper are super exciting, because they did see the variations in the X-ray light that were expected from binary black holes, but on top of this, 
they also saw the emissions that can only be associated with iron falling into the black hole itself. Suggesting that something is definitely approaching the black hole and falling into it, and suggesting that something is indeed orbiting the black hole, but once again it's not 100% certain yet if this is two black holes, or possibly something happening around a massive black hole and causing these particular observations. And I guess more importantly, a slightly different paper that used radio observations from this region was unfortunately unable to discover any radio bursts that would be expected from two infalling black holes. Or in other words, there's still a chance that something entirely different is happening around this black hole that we just don't understand. The scientists are definitely certain though that something unusual and never before seen is happening in this particular galaxy and around this particular black hole. A black hole that's believed to be at least 10 times more massive than the one in the middle of our own galaxy. However, if this is two black holes, their total mass could be 200 million solar masses, or about 50 times as much as Sagittarius A star, the one from our own galaxy. And so, at the moment, it's kind of unclear what this strange behavior is, but I guess what is clear and what's super exciting is whatever is happening there is going to be resolved within the next three years. This is actually the conclusion from this recent paper. In this case, the X-ray observations reveal that the signal should disappear completely within the next three years. And the main conclusion from a lot of these papers is really simple. If this is indeed the first ever supermassive black hole collision we've ever seen, we should probably get ready for it. Ready as in telescope ready. We should try to organize a multi-wavelength observation of this region in order to make sure that whatever happens here is not missed and is detected by everything we currently have. Because if there is some kind of an outburst here, it's going to teach us so much about the universe, including how supermassive black holes grow, what happens when they merge, and how this affects their parent galaxies as well. Making this a once in a lifetime opportunity to detect one of these events. And there's at least one technique that we can maybe use to confirm this afterwards as well. It's known as the pulsar timing array, and it works by looking at various minute deviations in the pulsations of pulsars in the Milky Way galaxy. We've actually discussed some of the potential discoveries from this technique in one of the videos you can find right there or in the description. And so by using this in a few years time, the scientists might be able to confirm exactly what happened in this galaxy. Mostly because the waves produced by this collision are going to be detectable by this technique. It's also quite possible that various neutrino detectors on the planet would be able to detect a lot of the emissions of very powerful neutrinos coming from the region as these two black holes collide, once again confirming that this is exactly what happened in this case. With a lot of other emissions, such as some kind of a large explosion similar to supernova, very likely confirming the collision between black holes. In this case, these powerful emissions are mostly going to be produced by the interaction and the final collision between the accretion disks as well. The black holes themselves are not going to be producing the explosion, but the accretion disks might. And one of the observations here is actually really interesting. It suggests that the velocity of the object orbiting here changed from about 20% of speed of light to about 2%. With all of this happening within just 20 days, to change the velocity by so much, you would require some ridiculously massive objects. Something that we kind of expect if there are two supermassive black holes orbiting in just the right way. However, the scientists also think that some kind of a very specific black hole wind could potentially explain this as well. So whatever is happening here, we'll learn in a few years time. Although possibly even this year. So this is definitely one of the most exciting discoveries of 2022. But until we know for a fact what's happening here, we're going to leave it at that. It's still a bit of a mystery. A mystery from a galaxy nobody looked at until relatively recently. But if you'd like to learn more about the idea of black hole collisions or how we believe black holes collide, check out one of the previous videos where I talk about how the scientists discovered one of the black holes being delivered to the center of another galaxy. It should be right there or in the description. And also some of the other videos with other observations from other galaxies that contain supermassive black holes. All of this should be in the description as well. On that note, thank you for watching. Once we learn more about this galaxy, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video that explains exactly what happens here, or actually in the galaxy behind me, and how all of this resolves at the end. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.